So me, Dave and Rob were off out to dive the Ashman J Clough, which was a World War II cargo vessel built in 1943 in the USA, weighing some 1,700 tonnes and 215 feet long, with a top speed of 10 knots. And she was sunk on the 26th of August 1944 by U-989, whilst carrying general military supplies to the war effort in France. And given that the explosion was supposed to have taken place under the boiler room, and this would be just past the midships, this looks like it could be toward torpedo damage on swimming through. There's Dave and Rob in front and I'm following on behind. And this wreck lies in some 63 metres of water. And uh, after yesterday using a mild trimix, today we're all on 1840 and you can really feel the difference of um, a nice clear head at 60 metres. And the vis is reasonably good to very good, um, although there's not as much ambient light, it's still very easy to pick out shapes and make out where you are and I think some of this is from the accommodation block um, further back on the wreck about midships and uh, yeah, it's very well broken up there you can see there's a lot of big structure here and I've just spotted what looks like the end of a fire hose so I'll go down and have a quick look Yes, it is. It's the uh, end of a fire hose, solid brass. And uh, the American ships were renowned for having excellent fire suppression systems. And here you can see what looks like a fire hydrant on the deck. I'm working my way forward. Uh, I think this is number two hold. And you can see the mast is still in place. And. Uh, you can see there's a ladder still going right up it. I decide to have an investigate in this hold, so I drop into it, and you can see there's some good sized pollock in this hold. But it doesn't seem to be a lot else that's recognisable. It seemed to be perhaps part of the deck cover, the hold cover broken up, and debris material actually stopping you getting through. To what the cargo was and at 60 meters you don't really want to spend too much time uh, rummaging about so i can move on further forward oh and there's a free swimming conger reel look at that nice so i move on across the top of the deck to the next hold which is hold number one I'm just going over the edges was further and more intact and immediately there are items in the bottom which are much more recognisable. It's quite a depth into the hold and you can see some things that look like wheels but further on from that there's caterpillar tracks which are obviously some, some kind of tank or half track vehicle. Just checking where I am in relation to the exit. Check I'm not drifting around. And you can see there's a massive maze of caterpillar tracks in here. Along with a lot of other items, I can't really tell you what they are. But there's a few steering wheels, car spares, tyres, wheels, general vehicle sort of spares, I think, for World War II vehicles. Tra trapped here in, the t in a time capsule for me to just have a rummage around and have a look around. Very interesting, although it was probably very badly needed for the war effort in France in 1944. And you can see this bow section really does look as though it's in very good condition. Hardly any damage at all. The mast's still there and the stair place is still intact.
and you can see this mast on the bow has obviously caught some unsuspecting fisherman's net on it. It's amazing how strong this ship must have been built to be 60 years plus on the seabed and still have the mast upright and strong enough to rip off a trawling net. And right on the very bow just drop over and you can see the anchors are still in place. This would be the starboard anchor. And this is the very bow of the ship. And time to get my bag away after a very enjoyable dive.